a space where children can freely play, imagine and create any type of playtime they want and can also experience challenges such as higher and steeper slides, learning how to hold a saw, hammer or chisel. Lighting a fire with twigs and swinging on ropes. Con thấy sân chơi này khá là hay. Mọi thứ đều làm gần như đều làm bằng gỗ và dây. Ở đây cũng đầy đủ ạ. Còn hai thứ trải nghiệm mà con thích nhất là cái trượt ở đằng kia và cái trò chơi gỗ ạ. Helping children to be truly happy free to create and grow, and allowing them to form a community-connected space is what adventure playgrounds are all about. Out of the 1,000 adventure playgrounds in the world, Japan has over 400. The meaning of these playgrounds was shared by Hitoshi Shimamura, an expert from the Tokyo Play organization. Hi, thank you for joining us in the interview. What games did you like as a kid? When I was little, I used to play outside almost every day. At that time, many children in Japan would go to extra classes in studying centers. But I liked the freedom to be able to play freely, so almost every day I would play with my friends' games like hide and seek, by riding, catching insects and playing in small streams. When playing outside, we surely can learn a lot, right? Playing outside in spite of hot days and rainy days trains the body. In addition, we are able to do what we like the way we like it. It's the feeling of doing something wholeheartedly, which helps us a lot as we grow. When playing, children learn and form their own thoughts. I think it is more important than starting something. This is the first adventure playground in Vietnam. It was designed by social enterprise Think Playgrounds and Tokyo Play and provides free and open play spaces for children. Faced with concern about the sheer shortage of playgrounds in the city, since 2014 till now, Think Playgrounds has built more than 150 community playgrounds throughout Vietnam. To prepare for the launch of this adventure playground, the group worked with Japanese experts and consulted on the activities of adventure playgrounds in Japan. Có chỗ chơi là tốt lắm rồi. Nhưng bây giờ nếu bây giờ mình đã có được chỗ rộng thì mình phải làm một cái gì để cho nó hết sức để mà trẻ con thực sự hạnh phúc ở trong đấy. Thì khi mình càng hiểu sâu cái triết lý của sự chơi thì mình sẽ thiết kế ra những cái thiết bị tốt hơn và mình cũng sẽ tạo ra được cái nền tảng cho cái gắn kết cộng đồng hơn. Think Playground spent nearly half a year from idea to construction at the Adventure Playground. In late June 2019, the first adventure playground in Vietnam was inaugurated and began being operated by the community. Có rất nhiều nhiều cái thì mình thấy là nó rất là vui và ý nghĩa với các cháu. Và đặc biệt là ở cái khu vực mà làm đồ mộc ở cái sân chơi này thì mình có thể cùng với cả con để gắn kết giữa bố với con nó cảm thấy gần gũi hơn. Thay bởi ở nhà cứ con cắm đầu vào tivi xong mình quát mắng. The name of Playground is Adventure Playground. What could be the adventure element here? Compared to conventional playground, this playground has elements of difficulty, some more challenging and a little more risky. In addition, many materials and tools will be placed here so that the children can create new toys they can build small houses, decorate the hut. Adventures that we adults imagine are very big, like traveling around the world, flying into space. 
But for children, there are things that they want to try but can't do, things that are interesting. They could be small, but when they try it, it becomes an adventure. We try to make this playground a space to promote the love of adventure among children. Playground like this are created by the community. What value will they bring to the community? I don't know what it's like in Vietnam, but in Japan, people are used to convenience. People pay money to buy service, and if they are not satisfied, they will complain immediately and gradually things are separated by different rooms. People pay to go to the amusement park, which welcomes thousands of people every day, but family members don't talk to each other when they go to amusement parks. Therefore, I think that spaces created by the community like these are places where everyone can be noticed and can care for each other's children, chat and become close. Playing rounds like these help everyone stay connected and will make them feel happy to live in such a city. Thank you very much for the interview.